All right, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. You are starting off with some pretty powerful energy here, Aquarius. We have the fates, no place like home, and happy, happy. Wow. I feel like there's some kind of new beginning happening for you here uh, that's it's making you really happy. Something feels like home to you or something to do with house and home um, and something that is destined and fated, a wish come true. Ooh, let's see, what is your person's overall energy? What is Aquarius's person's overall energy? What's going on? Aquarius's person. What is going on? Aquarius's person's overall energy. Thank you. Loyal heart observer. Ooh, somebody's watching you. Somebody's got their eye on you, Aquarius. I feel like it's somebody that has a loyal heart. They're watching, observing, seeing what you're up to. And higher power. Wow. Wow. I feel like this person's loyal. Um, I feel like they want to give you a loyal heart, higher power. There's something divinely guided, divine timing, higher power going on here. This person could be trying to manifest you as well. Powerful stuff, Aquarius. Wow. All right, let's see. Let's get into it. Current situation for your person. What's going on with Aquarius's person in love? Keep in mind, Aquarius, when I say your person, it is a general reading. It can be flip-flopped and reversed, so feel free to switch the energies around, all right? All right, what's going on, Aquarius's person, current energies, current situation? What's going on? Nine of Pentacles, all right. I feel like this person is single, independent, Attractive, good looking. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. All right. Long term loyalty, commitment, family dynamic. Ooh. Grounded, stable, like marriage material. Let's see what else. What's going on with your person? For some of you, they could be in a family dynamic trying to get single. Mm, the Tower, Scorpionic energy. What's going on here? What's going on here? Nine of Wands. The wounded warrior fighting the good fight. Could be walls up, guards up, standing guards, um, being protective. All right, why is this? What's going on here? What's going on? King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be leaving... Um, an earth sign to come towards you. All right, then I have High Priestess, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, the Sun, and Four of Wands. Something, something with house and home for your person too. Commitment, leveling up. Happiness, Leo Energy, the Sun, the happiest card in the deck. I feel like this person feels something came crashing down in their world. Is it due to you? Let's see. I, I feel like there, there's definitely something. This person, I feel like, wants commitment with you. They want to level up this connection here. What is that tower here for? What is that tower here for? Three of Pentacles. Is this like love and separation? Yeah. Did somebody cut off communication here? Did you have a higher level of commitment with this person? And somebody thought the grass was greener. It turns out they were wrong. A little bit of chaos and conflict going on. Somebody, somebody cut off communication here. Let's see, what are this person's intentions? Intentions with Aquarius. What is this person's intentions? All right. I feel like they 
they've got to either apologize or make some kind of romantic gesture, love offer, and balance the scales or have equal give and take. Maybe things weren't balanced here between the two of you. What are their intentions? Temperance. Divine timing, divinely guided. They may want to move this forward here, the chariot. What's going on? What's going on? Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Confusion are options. Did someone have options here? A little bit confusing, Aquarius. I feel like this person or you, one of you guys were in a higher level of commitment. Some, something could have came to light. Gemini, the Chariot, Ace of Cups, and Judgment, Scorpionic Energy, Karma, a wake-up call. This person wants to reconcile with you, Aquarius. This person wants to reconcile with you. Did, did somebody like fall for temptation or they're just stuck in something they're not happy with and this person is like where you're supposed to be? Like you're supposed to be with this other person, but you're stuck in something else or they are. There, there's something like that going on here. Uh, what's blocking this? Let's see. What's blocking this connection here, Aquarius? Blockages for Aquarius. What's blocking this connection? Both of your overall energies are so good and positive. The Empress. Taurus energy. Somebody, somebody's in an, in another connection with somebody. The lovers, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone stressing here. Is somebody for some of you? Someone could be pregnant, or got somebody pregnant. For like one or two of you, all right? Other than that, could be like somebody's mother or you have children with somebody and they're they're kind of getting in the way or they have children with somebody that's getting in the way here. It's causing some stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. What else? Blockages. Blockages. There was a third party situation. Third party could be person, place, or thing. Okay. It could be money, finances, could be cheating, could be work, could be anything. There's something stressful that's blocking this due to a third party situation. What is this? Tell me more. Blockages, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a burden. There you are. Aquarius, did you create this blockage? Page of Wands. I, I feel like there's some kind of a third party situation going on here where somebody's stuck and doesn't want to be where they are. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody's stuck and doesn't want to be where they are. They want to be with somebody else. A committed relationship. I feel like somebody else is stuck in a commitment. I'm sorry. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on with you guys. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. There's definitely some kind of a burden, heartache, pain. I feel like that's you. I feel like you're carrying that. You know that there's something destined and faded that feels like home to you that will make you really happy but I feel like you're stuck in something. And I kind of feel like your person is like kind of ready, willing, and able here. Let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Aquarius? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's emotions here. There's definitely emotions. How do they feel about Aquarius? Judgment. Scorpionic energy. They want to reconcile this. 
Ace of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you. I feel like they want to reconcile this and have a new beginning in love. They could be drowning in their emotions right now. How does this person feel about Aquarius? I don't know why your cards keep flinging out like that. How does this person truly feel about Aquarius? How do they truly feel? Six of Swords, Knight of Wands in reverse. Gemini energy. Do they feel like you're stuck? Or like you, you're kind of moving a little too slow or somebody's moving a little too slow here. Justice, Libra energy. Knight of Swords is usually quick, fast, chaotic, in and out energy, impulsive energy. And Six of Swords is movement, moving into calmer waters, but those are both in reverse, the devil. Capricorn energy. Are you stuck to something toxic, Aquarius? The Emperor Aries energy. There, there's somebody here that's toxic or has an ego or very egotistical. The world. They could think it's you. Rejection. And King of Cups, ignoring, feeling rejected. King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I am seeing a couple people here. I feel like one person is your divine counterpart. Someone who is meant for you. Any pair of the same suit is a divine counterpart, right? And then you have the Emperor and Knight of Swords. So you have like Aries, Gemini, you have Capricorn here, Libra. There's somebody, somebody in the middle of this that's keeping someone stuck. And I feel like whoever this person is that's loyal and is fated and destined, they're feeling kind of ignored or like you turned your back on them. But you're, you're trying to close out a cycle, I feel like, Aquarius. Well, let's see what's what's going to happen. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you have free will, so do they. You can change your mind, so can they. But let's see what could, what could be here. Outcome for Aquarius. King of Cups, Two of Cups, Four of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Holy Cups, Cups, Cups. The only thing I don't like is this Four of Cups. Like, is this person trying to offer you all their love and happiness? They're making offers. They're small right now. Or they're trying to. And I feel like you're ignoring them. Strong Scorpio energy coming through with feeling ignored. Or rejected. Reigniting that flame. I see Ten of Cups. Like, I feel like this person is your happiness here, Aquarius. You got to get clear, though. The Hanged Man Pisces energy. You got to get clear on where you want to put your energy. I feel like this has the potential to be, like, equal give and take. Maybe you were breadcrumbing or giving to two and one person feels left out. Ignored. What else? What's going on? What's going to happen? Are you holding back right now, Aquarius? I feel like this person's holding on to you. Someone needs to get clear on what they want. The wheel. To turn this wheel forward. Where is this wheel going to take you? Where is this wheel going to take you, Aquarius? Knight of Cups, Pisces Energy, Seven of Pentacles, Planting Seeds. Ten of Swords. If you're juggling, if somebody's juggling, I feel like there was some kind of betrayal, backstab, or a painful ending. 
Did you step out on somebody here, Aquarius? It created a painful ending, and now they're feeling rejected, ignored. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Aquarius, what are you doing? There was some sneaky behavior going on here. Look, if you have two options here, one of them, if you continue on that path with one of these people, I feel like you're going to get hurt. There's going to be backstabbing, betrayal. Someone's kind of being a player here, sneaky, lies, deception. The other person is like your soulmate. Someone you're meant to be with that's loyal, long-term, committed, Balance, equal, and I feel like you're ignoring this person. You need to look up. Like, you just need to... What advice do we have? See? The Hierophant. It could lead to long-term commitment. You gotta take that leap of faith. You gotta take that leap of faith here. Aquarius, Aries energy, the higher font. It's going to lead to long-term commitment. Ten, your Ten of Cups, your Two of Cups. But yeah, you have you have one one person's the right one, the other one's not. All right, let's see obstacles for Aquarius to overcome, obstacles, healing. So maybe you just need to take a minute for yourself and heal, or something needs to be healed between you and this person. I feel like this person still wants you back. We are the world. Yep, the world, cycle, sharing. Maybe open up to this person, communicate with them, some kind of an awareness. Feeling this is an obstacle here and taking that leap of faith instead of feeling like you're in the dark or alone or you left this person in the dark. I do feel, Aquarius, this was something you did, but again, it could be reversed, okay? So this person could have betrayed you, backstabbed you, stepped out. You're here trying to be loyal and want to work on things. There is something faded and destined. I know you can say, heck no, I don't want this person back. They had their chance. They hurt me. That's fine. Teach their own. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I just feel like this is a soulmate and maybe it, there was a, a karmic lesson your person had to learn or you had to learn, okay? Just here to read the energies, all right? What else do we have for Aquarius? What else do we have for Aquarius? Creativity. So inspiration, productivity, creation. Bring out the greatness within. Uh, There's a big chunk, so I'm putting it back. All right, masculine. Your divine masculine, your twin, or you, or soulmate, is seeking each other. Loss, loss of self and identity, discover true self again, and family, kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family stress, get support. All right, I'm going to ask yourself a yes or no question, and I'll tell you the answer. Three, two, one. The answer to your question is yes. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you if they could, Aquarius? I know I was a distraction from your pain. I will wait for a sign from you. So something may not be moving yet until someone gives like a an okay sign. Like, okay, <laughs> let's talk, you know. What else? I love you. I wish I had treated you better. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. See, there was some kind of a lesson here. All right, let's see. What would you say to them? I forgive you. See, your body language says so much. 
I am not coming back. See, some of you are done. Some of you are not. Uh, sometimes I hear your voice, so you're still surrounding their energy. All right. I'm going to pick some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a word. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Uh, place it where you see fit, okay? All right. I have C, Z, B, T, Q, V, Y, N, F, O, K, and H. So T, B, Z, C, H, V, Y, N, O, F, Q, and K. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be a date of significance, an age, an angel number. What do we got? Four, four. You know what's funny? I was just going to say I'm seeing fours here for angel numbers. Four, four. And four. Four, 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 eight, eight. All right, so I have four, four, one, and 11. One, one, one. This could be a new beginning you're manifesting. Um, so it could be, let me re-roll this, four, six. Okay, so it could be the first, the fourth, the sixth, the eleventh, or the fourteenth, sixteenth. Could be 41, 61, and 11. Could be uh, January, April, June, or November. All right, zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Aquarius season. All right, we have Virgo, Leo, Aries, and Capricorn. Virgo, Leo, Aries, and Capricorn. Water showed up real heavy here too, especially Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces showed up really heavy, but could be anybody. Um, Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn. Aries, gang's all here, you guys. All right, so place it where you see fit. But Aquarius, that is what I have for you this week.